This is a very exciting episode of The Meet Show. I'm here at Cochon, which is a place that I have been told by everyone that I informed that I was visiting New Orleans, that I must come visit here. I'm here with owner Steve. I'm not even gonna to begin to pronounce his last name. Strajewski. See why? We are here to really focus on boudin sausage, but we're also here to talk about generally about this incredible operation. Donald Link and I started Cochon 11 years ago. as the place in New Orleans that didn't really exist to get Cajun food. There are some very traditional places like Mulots and, and Michals that did good Cajun food, but there was no one doing a high quality restaurant version of Cajun right. food. And really, so my understanding is that you're really using the highest quality meat. Things that the chefs in four, three and four style restaurants are employing, but that you're really applying to what is American vernacular cooking, right? This yes. is like, this is people's food, folk food, right? It is. What our intention was originally was just a straight up butcher shop where we could play with meat and make all the all the things that we always wanted to make and have an outlet for them. So we opened up this space and started doing all of that stuff and then started applying it to small plates and sandwiches and and uh, so it kind selling of it. It started off as a butcher shop and it's now kind of become its own restaurant. Yes, in exactly. Sense. Tell me about the, the, the cuisine in general. So the Cajun cuisine that we do is much less Paul Perdome much more traditional Cajun cuisine. Heavy on technique, heavy seasoning. Uh, some people think our food is a little salty, but you know, we're also in a hot climb in an area where people drink a lot. Right. And so like, well, so you're in the all business <laughs> selling beer yourself, yeah. right? So, <laughs> it's not the worst thing. So tell me about boudin, because that is obviously one of the staples of the cuisine, right? So boudin is a sausage that is all over Western Louisiana. It's what you get at every gas station, every corner store. Everybody it's like the has hot dog a, in New York, yeah. right? And it's a universal food. You eat it with beer in the afternoon, you eat it with dinner, you eat it for breakfast with black coffee. We start with pork shoulder and we braise that with a bunch of seasoning, uh, you know, Trinity, which is the onions, pepper, celery, and then some garlic and some heat, some jalapeno peppers, and we simmer that until it's all tender, and then we grind that and then mix it with rice and stuff it. So it's really a pre-cooked? It is, and then we steam it, like in a rice cooker. Are you cooker. using a natural casing? Natural yeah, a natural casing. Would you use hog or? A yeah, a hog middle. We're gonna have the rabbit and dumplings today. So for the rabbit and dumpling, we sear some Mississippi rabbits and then braise them in chicken stock with a little mirepoix. And then we make a rabbit stew with turnips, carrots, celery, onions, mix it all together and then let it simmer for about 45 minutes. And then we ladle it into small cast iron dishes and do uh, dumplings on top. And then we're gonna have the uh, boudin two different ways. Uh, here at the butcher shop, we steam it in the casing and then next door at Cochon, we uh, take it out of the casing and form it into balls and uh, bread them and deep fat fry them. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this or what? We are at the grand moments. The whole reason for this show is so that I get to do this. Let's start with the classy boudin. This is a steamed product. This is a natural hot casing. You don't actually eat the casing. What you do is you sort of squeeze the stuffing out of the sausage. So let's try it out. Wow, that's not pretty good. That is incredibly tender, flavorful. It's got a definite porky flavor, but you can also taste the rice. You know, rice is kind of bland, but that flavor comes through and then you have that beautiful heat coming on. It's really quite delicious. No textual contrast, though, I will note that, because it's basically just the sausage stuff, so it's kind of mushy, but delicious. Let's move on to the fried product. I kind of just want to break this open and see what's going on. Oh, look at that. It's really very similar, but of course, they put this wonderful crust on the outside. Oh, wow. It's like the greatest croquette ever. Great crunch, you can probably hear that. Really good snap to it. So you're getting, you know, this really nice crunch where here you just get the really lush mouthfeel. You have that in this, but you have this delightful, crunchy exterior. Very interesting contrast. Same flavor profile, but when you deep fry something, of course it gives you sort of darker, roasted, caramelized flavors. I wouldn't throw either sausage out of bed, but if I was having a sausage party, I would choose that guy. Let's move on to the rabbit and dumplings. So this was actually finished in the wood-fired oven, which is like a pizza oven. 
you do have a slightly smoky flavor there. Okay, but I'm going in, look at this. Oh, what is it about braising meats? It just gives this velvety deliciousness to it. I'm going in. Mmm. That's just a great stew. And again, there's some serious heat going on. I'm gonna try one of these dumplings. That's great. Really light. You know, the problem with a lot of dumplings is they're sort of stodgy flour bombs. This one is really airy and light, and you can just see, like, not exactly flaky, but it does just want to come apart. I'm just gonna keep eating until they tell me to say something. But this is clearly Cajun cooking, the, the evocation, the flavors, and the spice profiles, all of those things. But it's also avant-garde cooking, it's elevated. This is really responsibly raised meat, and there's a lot of care in the ingredients, the sourcing, and in the cooking. So it is something that you would expect to find at home, but I don't think, unless you were married to a chef or your mother was a chef, it would ever be quite this accomplished. For more Meat Show, click here. I'm gonna spend some quality time with this rabbit, and we'll see you on the next episode. All together, our job here, we think, is like to try to mend Haiti and New Orleans kind of back together and show that there's a, like a bridge between the two.